who is Gopina Ven Patel? Awards My Pad My Right Project. What is the name of the world's first plasmid DNA vaccine for COVID? Hello, friends. Welcome to Tipesi as Prince, and you are watching Weekly News at a Glance, a show where you get complete information of all the important events that happened the past week. Now, let's start. Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of various projects in Somnath, Gujarat. The projects inaugurated include the Somnath Promenade, the Somnath Exhibition Centre and the reconstructed temple present of Old Somnath. The Prime Minister also laid the foundation stone of Sri Parvati Temple during the event. NTPC Limited has commissioned the largest floating solar PV project of 25 megawatt on the reservoir of its Simhadri Thermal Station in Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. This is also the first solar project to be set up under the flexibilization scheme notified by the Government of India in 2018. Zydus Kedala has received the emergency use authorization from the Drug Controller General of India for Zycov D, the world's first plasmid DNA vaccine for the COVID-19. The Department of Health and Family Welfare has launched a digital portal for crowdfunding and voluntary donations for the treatment of patients of rare diseases in accordance with the mandate of the National Policy for Rare Disease 2021. Union Finance Minister launched an ambitious Ubhatte Sitare Fund for export-oriented firms and startups. The fund aims at arranging funds for the promotion of MSME companies. The fund has been set up by Exim Bank and SIDBI. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has inaugurated My Pad My Right project initiated by NABARD and NAB Foundation at Killa Village in Gomati District, Tripura. The project aims to bring livelihood and menstrual hygiene closure to rural women by way of grant, wage support and capital equipment. She also interacted with women SAG members working under MS Micro Enterprise Development Program of NABARD at Killa Village in Gomati District. Finance Minister was on a two-day visit in Tripura, during which she launched a lot of schemes in the state. Researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology Delhi have developed a modified cotton fabric capable of absorbing harmful air pollutants. ZIF-8 HCM cotton and ZIF-67 HCM cotton, as they are called, are zeolite imidazolate framework modified functionalized fabrics which absorb high levels of organic air pollutants like benzene, aniline and styrene from the ambient air. India just got its first highest herbal park at Mana in Uttarakhand's Chamoli district. The park, situated at a height of 11,000 feet, was inaugurated at Mana village, which is situated close to the Indochina border. AU Small Finance Bank, which is India's largest small finance bank, has unveiled a mega brand campaign aptly titled Badlav Hamse Hai. This is the first integrated marketing communication campaign from AU Bank since its inception a creative endeavor that will showcase the bank's passion for innovation. Social Justice and Empowerment Minister flags off Operation Blue Freedom to create a world record at Siachen Glacier. It is an expedition by the people with disabilities from across India to the world's highest battlefield, 
the Siachen Glacier. India's first sectoral index in the Agri Commodities Basket, that is, GORX, was launched by the National Commodity and Derivatives Exchange Limited. GORX is a price based sectoral index which tracks the movement in the futures contracts of GOR GAM refined splits and GOR seed on a real time basis. This index product will offer a lot of opportunities to value chain. Working toward empowering imperative notions of our society, the Bureau of Police Research and Development and All India Council for Technical Education have launched Manthan 2021, a unique national hackathon to identify innovative concepts and technology solutions for addressing the security challenges of the 21st century faced by our intelligence agencies. The Reserve Bank of India has extended the scope of tokenization to several consumer devices, including laptops, desktops, wearables like wristwatches and bands, as well as the Internet of Things devices. Tokenization aims at improving the safety and security of the payment system, refers to the replacement of actual card details with a unique alternate code called the token. The first batch of Indian-made multi-mode hand granites manufactured by a private farm was delivered to the Indian Army in the presence of Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh at a ceremony in Nagpur. The granites will replace granite number 36 of the World War I vintage design, which is continued in service till date. MMHGs are not just more lethal but are safer to use. These granites are manufactured by Economic Explosive Limited following the transfer of tech from DRDO. Government of India's think tank Niti Aayog, in collaboration with World Resources Institute, launched the Forum for Decarbonizing Transport in the country. The forum aims to create a platform to initiate dialogues for the development of uniform policies and help achieve specific results in reducing carbon emissions by promoting electric vehicles. Government of India has launched the eShram portal, national database on unorganized workers, on 26th August 2021. The portal will maintain a database of workers in the country's unorganized sector. East Sikkim has stopped in terms of meeting sustainable development goals in the Niti Aayog's Northeastern Region District SDG Index Report 2021-2022. Nagaland's Kifayar featured at the bottom of the list. It was the first edition of the NER District SDG Index Report and Dashboard 2021-2022 by Niti Aayog and the Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region. Researchers at IIT Roorkee have found that thermocol or expanded polystyrene, if used as a composite material in the core of reinforced concrete sandwich, could resist earthquake. The Delhi International Airport Limited has signed a MOU with Medanta Hospital to set up a COVID-19 care centre at the Delhi Airport for its employees and their family members. The Union Cabinet has approved the signing of MOU between the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and the Institute of Professional Accountants of Russia. The proposed MOU aims to strengthen cooperation in matters of accountancy profession through exchange of views, information and respect of professional accountancy training, professional ethics and technical research. India's first mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccine has received a nod from the DGCI to move into Phase 2 and Phase 3 trials. Genova Biopharmaceuticals Limited, which is the Pune-based biotechnology company, is working on the mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccine 
एच डी सी जीरो वन नाइन एफ कॉन्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लिमिटेड द मुंबई बेस्ड कंस्ट्रक्शन इंजीनियरिंग कंपनी ऑन थर्सडे हैज साइंड अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मॉलदीव फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द कंट्रीज बिगेस्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वर्क द ग्रेटर माले कनेक्टिविटी प्रोजेक्ट The project will consist of a 6.74 km long bridge and causeway link between Male and islands of Willingly, Gulifalu and Thilafusi. The project got a grant of dollar 100 million and a line of credit of dollar 400 million from India. In order to facilitate seamless transfer of vehicles The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has introduced a new registration mark for new vehicles that is Bharat series. A vehicle bearing this registration mark shall not require assignment of a new registration mark when the owner of the vehicle shifts from one state to another state. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has unveiled Army Sports Institute Stadium at Pune named after Subeda Neera Chopra the Indian Army's Mission Olympics program was launched with the intent to deliver medal winning performances in the Olympics and other international events at the 7th meeting of the BRICS Environment Ministerial 2021 the environment ministers adopted the new delhi statement on environment which is aimed at furthering the spirit of cooperation for continuity consolidation and consensus in environment among the brics nations union minister of state of science and technology dr jitendra singh has inaugurated the karma yogi digital learning facility for civil servants at the institute of secretariat training and management a premier central training institution under the department of personal and training shrikant tis has been appointed as the deputy election commissioner in the election commission of india for an overall tenure of 5 years State Bank of India has opened a floating ATM on a houseboat at Dal Lake in Jammu and Kashmir's Srinagar for the convenience of local and tourists. Jal Shakti Ministry began Sujalam, a 100 days campaign as part of the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations to create more and more ODF plus villages by undertaking waste water management at the village level the focus of this campaign is to ensure that all new emerging households in the village have access to toilets the campaign will help in management of the waste water in a major boost to air connectivity in eastern arunachal pradesh chief minister prema khandu flagged off the first flight the first scheduled flight of fly big airlines from teju airport in lohit district to guwahati the second edition of the joint naval exercise zair al bahar between the indian navy and qatar emirate naval force were recently conducted in the persian gulf world bank the international financial institution which provides a wide variety of loans and grants to governments for capital projects launched its cyber security multi donor trust fund under its broader digital development partnership program described as a platform for digital innovation and development funding India has been elected to the Council of Administration at 27th Universal Postal Union Congress in Abidjan. India with 134 votes got highest votes in CA elections from South Asia and Oceania region. India was also elected with 106 votes out of 156 countries to the Postal Operations Councils at the 27th 
UPU Congress in Abidjan. N.K. Singh, who chaired the 15th Finance Commission, has replaced former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh as the President of the Institute of Economic Growth Society. Former CII DG Tarun Das is the Chairman and Professor Ajit Mishra is the IEG Director. Broadcast Audience Research Council of India, that is BERC, which is the industry's television audience measurement body, has announced Nakul Chopra as its new CEO. Union Home Ministry has appointed Pankaj Kumar Singh as the new Director General of Border Security Force. The committee also appointed Sanjay Arora to the position of DG ITBP. The Reserve Bank of India has approved the appointment of Hitendra Dave as Chief Executive Officer of HSBC India for a period of three years with effect from August 24, 2021. Padla Bhavina Patel continued her giant killing march at the Tokyo Paralympics as she ousted China's world number three, Miao Zhang, to enter the gold medal match of women's singles class four event at Tokyo Paralympics 2021. With this, Bhavina Ben Patel became the first Indian to enter the final of a table tennis event in the Paralympics. Former Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Sri Kalyan Singh Ji, passed away. He was also the former Governor of Rajasthan and Himachal Pradesh. The UN General Assembly has designated 22nd August as the International Day for commemorating the victims of acts of violence based on religion or belief recognizing the importance of providing victims of acts of violence based on religion or belief and members of their families with appropriate support and assistance in accordance with the applicable law. World Sanskrit Day, also known as Visha Samskrit Dinam, observed on 22nd August 2021. On Women's Equality Day, which is celebrated on 26th August, NTPC Limited has recruited its first all-female engineering executive trainees batch to reaffirm its stand on diversity and inclusion. The engineering graduates were selected based on the performance in GATE 2021 in the electrical, mechanical, electronics and instrumentation disciplines. So that's all for this week. I hope you found this section helpful. If you like our work, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please like the video and share it with your friends. We have also provided the link to our telegram channel where we share various important updates and polls. If you wish to join, the link is given in the description below. Do check out. So, see you next week. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.